Yo guys, what is going on? It's first here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my brand new ultimate setup for 2017. Now I know I did a building my setup video, but that was not an exact tour, and I did not give you guys specifications for it on everything. Um, so yeah, this is my setup tour, guys. As you can see, I've changed it quite a lot, actually. Um, I've got new headphones and everything. I have actually still got my old Razer headphones, but yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, first off, guys, straight ahead, we've got my 17-inch monitor. Now, I know 17 inches is not very big. It's made by Asus. It's got a lot of different options. Unfortunately, it's VGA and quite old. However, it does have 1080p, um, which is perfect for what I need it for. I'm, I'm going to be getting a LG Ultra Wide soon. I just need to get the money first. But, uh, yeah, that should hopefully make the setup look a lot nicer. I'll probably be painting the borders on it red as well. So, that'll make it look doubly nice. Um... So if we move down, we've got my LESHP keyboard with blue switches and my Razer Naga 2012. I've done reviews on both of these. So if you guys want to see a video on any of these, then make sure to check out my um, channel. So, um, yeah, this keyboard was like 20 quid and this mouse was like 90 or something. The monitor, by the way, was like 150, I think, um, if in case you guys were wondering. And then over here, we've got a bunch of boxes. Now, these are just product boxes. And um, I don't know why, but I quite like product boxes. I think they look nice, and they do decorate your setup quite nicely. Um, I've got like graphics cards, um, phone cases, and the phone boxes, earphone boxes, stuff like that. I've even got a MacBook Pro box at the back, but those are all sort of things which I've owned. And the next to that, I've got um, this Giorgio, of Ar Giorgio Armani uh, aftershave, Lynx deodorant, and uh, Lynx tobacco and amber. Um, fragrance which smells really nice um, I actually got it like a couple of days ago so I've got my skull candy sound mine here literally underneath my monitor my uh, camera will usually sit there um, which is the Panasonic Lumix TZ60 I think or something like that and then now I've got my S7 Edge um, in 64 gigs with the uh, wireless charger um, I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this guys I'll probably be leaving uh, some more details down below in case you guys want to check them out. Uh, so moving along to the side here, we've got these headphones. Now these are the iTempo uh, Red and Black Edition. I'm just going to switch my phone off because it's making a lot of noise. But yeah, um, those are my iTempo headphones. I actually got those today. Uh, they're pretty nice. They deliver decent sound quality. Um, so decent sound quality. They're very, very lightweight, and they're pretty cheap as well, and they also fit perfectly with my colour scheme. So, um, taking a look at the PC, for all of you PC lovers, who, oh, sorry, which you want to know what is in there. So, uh, this is um, my custom-built PC. Um, this is, I, I can't remember what the case is, it's made by Thermaltake. I was going to tell you guys that the graphics card is an Radeon RX 580, so that's with 8GB of video RAM, which is sufficient to play any game. And it's also got an 8 core AMD FX 8350 clocked at 4 gigahertz, um, which can be overclocked to like 4.3, I think. Um, I've put new fans in there as well. These are red LED ones, and I've also put an LED strip on the inside uh, to make it look really nice. So when it's in the dark, this looks absolutely awesome. If I just close, as you guys can see, just with a little bit more darkness, it does change quite a lot. Um, but yeah, so let's just take a look at the last thing now. So underneath my monitor riser, by the way guys, the monitor riser and headphone stand, I both I custom built both of them. Um, so underneath here, first of all, we've got this, which is... Uh, so there we've got like the uh, iPod Touch 5th generation, just there, iPod Touch 4th generation and Tesco Huddle underneath. And then in here... I've got my Nintendo 2DS in black and blue, which I know does ruin the setup theme a little bit, but um, it's important to me. I've had this for quite a while, and I do love playing Pokemon. I don't know why. I've got, um, what have I got in there? I've got Scribblenauts, uh, Mario 3D Land, and Mario Kart 7. And then in the DS there's Pokemon X, because I like that. And then here is the DS, so yeah. Um, I've actually got quite a lot of Nintendo stuff. Um, it's not all up here though. I've got um, like so. I've got like oh, I've got millions, like not millions, you know, but like 
probably about 60 different DS games. I've got a Wii, which is broken now. Um, two DSIs and a DDS XL, because I used to, like, break them a lot, but then I fixed them a little while back. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the setup then, guys. Um, like I was saying, of course, I've still got my Razer Kraken headphones. I'm just putting them underneath my desk at the moment, because they do not really fit with the overall theme. Now, guys, um, I need you guys to tell me if you like the idea or not of this, but I'm thinking of making a gaming channel. Because now that I've got my new PC and I don't have to do it on a laptop anymore, I can actually play some games. And I should I should be getting a microphone soon uh, with some money. So, yeah. Um, or if I can fix my old one. My old one's quite a nice red one. Uh, it's what came in this box here. Came in that box there. But yeah, I probably will get a new one because or just fix that one. But if you guys like the idea of a gaming channel, then make sure to let me know by dropping a like down below. And of course, telling me in the comments as well, any questions as well. Because uh, I might do a Q&A sometime, I don't know. Uh, maybe not just yet, but maybe when the channel gets a little bit bigger. Uh, by the way guys, if you're wondering what uh, network card I use, this is one of the best network cards I've ever used in my life. I'm just going to show you guys what it is now. So this is actually the TP-Link. Oh, I didn't say on there. Um, I'll just tell you guys then. So this is the um, I've actually got the box for it. Uh, this is the TP-Link N900. Uh, it's got three antennas and it's dual band. Um, advanced, it's got very good security because it's encrypted uh, with WPA and um, it's very easy to use and to install. And you can use 4.5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz, so that does give you a wide range over any network that you really use. Oh, sorry for leaving you guys on the screen there. But yeah, that's pretty much it then, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I'm very happy to say that we have actually hit um, one subscriber. I know that sounds stupid, but yeah, one subscriber. That's great, right? Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it then guys, have a nice day, I'll see you guys in the next one.